What's up, boys and girls? This is Spit Logic, and I'm about to do another album review. Low Resolution is the latest album by The Perceptionist. This is a group comprised of Mr. Liff and Acrobatic. Uh, they are a Boston based group. So with any album review, I'm going to go over the beats, the lyrics, the quality, the theme, and the standouts. What is it about this album that makes it unique and does it work? So let's get started on those beats. Well, once it's a dirty ass scrub. We stand where we stand and we don't play in the The beats on this album. So the beats on this album were okay. Now this album, Low Resolution, is somewhat of a remake of Resolution, which is the album that came out last year. They added, I think, two or three additional tracks uh, to it, but these albums were, these songs were redone and the beats were redone. And, um, you know, as far as the beats go, they, it's, when we're talking about artists who have done this music for quite some time and then trying to keep Keep it with keep in line with that classic hip hop sound, but still trying to modernize it. It's it's a good attempt uh, that they do. Some of the beats are kind of a mixture of old and new. Doesn't quite fit into the realm of new uh, quite. And then there are some of those beats that are uh, vintage. They feel like that classic uh, hip hop sound, but you know done with modern technology. Um, and then I think there were just maybe two or three of those beats where I couldn't quite place them. You know, very unique beats, very unique, um, uh, very unique sound in those beats. And um, I was a big fan of that. Um, the uniqueness of like two or three of those beats. So overall, the beats were pretty good. They fit well with the lyrics. Uh, they fit well with the theme of the album. Back in the day before the AK, they left the whole spray to sweep bros away, but they kept coming back harder, stronger, faster, smarter, and many became martyrs. They just wanted to be part of something. Lyrics on this album. Now, I am a lyric person. I am a lyric man. And uh, I can say the lyrics were, were good, okay? Um, they, they dealt with a, a wide range of different topics, in this album, I would say that, you know, as a duo, you, you're always going to hear kind of a contrast in styles when you're dealing with a duo. I would say that this duo isn't as dynamic as some of the other duos that I've listened to. Maybe it's because their styles are so different. Maybe they're a little bit too different. I did find myself more engrossed in acrobatics lyricism more than Mr. Lift's lyricism. And that's nothing against Mr. Lift, but I just feel like the dynamic between the two just wasn't there, you know, in the same vein as a, a Run to Jewels or uh, Cess Crew or Tribe Call Quest. You know, that dynamic wasn't just quite the same. But I will say that that lyric wise, you know, when they go to a subject, when they when they decide to talk about a subject, they stay on subject and then the lyricism on those subjects are well done. Stars escape from my mind now. Let me find out. Let me find out. Wanted me to go the blind route till I'm timed out. Let me find out. Let me find out how these thoughts. Quality on this album. So, one thing that I've I've really liked, and you know, I'm a a, a fan of Acrobatic. I've uh, listened to at least a few of his albums. You know, historically, when they have songs with cuts with turntablism in it. I think that the mixing is done really well. I know that sometimes those cuts are a little bit above, but in addition to the cuts that are done on there, um, the, the turntablist also did cuts uh, with parts of the drum, which you don't really hear that much anymore. You don't hear a lot of people cutting snares and kick drums as much as they used to. And, you know, I think the quality was done. I think the mixing was well done. There, there were some points where I thought that the vocals were a little bit high on it, but I think for the most part, the mixing was was pretty spot on. You want to crucify me for the toughest era in my life? That's all right. Thought the world of you, but now I see you in a different light. The theme of this album. So 
This again is, is somewhat of a remake of the Resolution album. Um, Mr. Liff was, uh, survived a bus accident. Acrobatic had, um, emergency open heart surgery, you know, for a medical condition. These, these two gentlemen who have been in hip hop for quite some time have, um, experienced some tragic things in their life. And part of that album deals and addresses those issues among the other things surrounding those issues. Then you can get into the state of our country, the state of the world, what the powers that be are up to. You can, you can hear that and you can, you can, you can hear that in some of the songs. Then you can even reach over and talk about, you know, our streets, um, talk about what's going on in our neighborhoods, what, what is affecting our communities. Then you can get into, um, relationships, you know, the people that we love and care for. This, this is a mixed bag in the best sense. Uh, it touches a whole bunch of different subjects. It touches on each of them and it invests the song into that particular subject. It doesn't wane off and just go off into another place. I mean, the, there are even songs where they're just bragging about, you know, how well they do what they do. And I can appreciate a very diverse album. I can appreciate diverse sounds. And this album does have that. Feeling so out of control, man. The world's spinning out of control, man. The world's spinning out of control. Maybe what I Standouts on this album. What is it that stands out about this album? Um, you know, I find it very hard to find what stands out about this album. But one thing that I do like is just the diversity of it. You know, um, in hip hop, I think you want to try to show the complete person, not just a single side of that individual, not just a certain kind of persona. And this album, the wide range of subjects that it deals with, the wide scope of different types of beats and textures that they deal with, um, it creates an embodiment of a complete person. And you don't hear that a lot. You don't hear people talking about uh, political issues and personal issues in a single album, not in rap music. And it's very difficult, very difficult to kind of pull that off. I think that they did a good job on it. Um, I'm a big fan of this album. So with all things considered, I give this album a composite score of a 4.15. This was a pretty good album to listen to. I enjoyed, I always feel like I enjoy anything that Acrobatic puts his name on. Um, I'm not necessarily that invested in Acrobatic and a, and a duo with Mr. Lift as the perceptionist. Um, I do think that these gentlemen could probably pick better partners to to rhyme with but then if they did that would it be a legitimate duo you know i feel like these two these two guys uh know each other uh they are friends and you know this is this is the vibe that they get off of each other it just doesn't work for me as much as some of the other duos that i've heard before but all in all when i listen to this album you know i think it's a great album I think it's a great listen. I would suggest that you take a listen to it. I enjoy it. I enjoyed it a lot. So those are my thoughts on the album. Uh, let me know what you think. And until next time, peace.